think we're good. Had to switch the game to StarCraft. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. <laughs> My computer's been blowing up a lot recently. Don't exactly know the cause. Um, yeah, I really don't know the cause. I thought it was initially my graphics settings, but, you know, I lowered my graphics settings and that didn't seem to help, so I don't think it's that. Okay, so it looks like uh, YouTube is receiving the content now, pausing the stream on my end. Good morning everybody, it is December 24th, 2015, and today we are going to be doing some defense-oriented strategies. So. Um, yesterday and the day before that we were doing some harass oriented strategies where we tried to uh, pin the opponent back just keep him focused on his defense at home and always threaten a counter attack or a um, or a drop or something like that but today we are going to be focusing on uh, more defense oriented strategies so we're going to be trying to secure three to four bases getting double upgrades going and from there we will try and just um, out macro him. So the opponent this time is going to be Zerg and we are going to be Terran. When we're doing a defense oriented strategy I think a very important aspect of the play is going to be being able to scout them. So what we are going to be doing... Oops, what am I doing? Um... We are going to be doing this game with Terran is uh, oh. Is we are going to be getting up a Reaper early on, maybe two, to go for scouting and a little bit of harassment. And then we are going to be getting up uh early 3rd CC and going for early barracks play. I don't even think I really want to be focusing on Hellions early on. And I want to see if we can actually even get up maybe a early 4th base and just uh, get a planetary fortress there. And see how that feels. It depends if he's going Mutalisks or not. If he goes for Roaches then we can um, pretty easily go into four bases I feel and just get a planetary fortress over there. But we'll see how it works out. So there's the overlord on the mini map. Where's he going? Okay. He's going behind my natural it looks like. Can't really punish him for that. Nor do I have any intention of getting a uh, marine earlier. So that's fine. Second supply depot after we make our expansion. Getting that little bit of extra economy. And here's the first Reaper. We're going to be going. And then we're probably going to be making our second CC. This is like the only path that he can reasonably go down. So we don't really have to worry about Zerg Wings killing the SCV building the hatch or building the CC. Okay, so he does have his natural expansion. What the heck is this? Oops, missed that. getting up his uh, third. He is not. Ooh, this is really bad. I still don't understand the point of this third CC. 
He's not even getting gas. He hasn't gotten gas yet. Okay, so we're gonna be super greedy. Oh, but we do need the factory. And let's start walling this off. And uh, we'll position the marines closer to the oops, to the ramp in case he makes like a flood of links. He probably won't with his setup. I don't exactly know what he's doing. I just know that there wasn't any gas, and we have three CCs up right now. We need to start the uh, armory as soon as this factory finishes. So we can get uh, plus two, plus two. Okay. Let's make two more barracks, and we'll also make a starport. Let's get some Hellions again for scouting. Not really harassing, we just want to see where our opponent is. He should have made his third hatchery by now. Can't really go out with the Marines. They're just too bad. Okay. Let's get the third gas up. Let's get three more barracks. Okay. Stim packs. Does have his third up. Yep. Does he have his fourth up or something? Let's see if he's like done something ridiculous, like taking the gold or something. Just going to suicide these aliens to try and get into his base. Oh, okay, so he is going roaches. So, like I said before, we'll try and get up a super early fourth. Then. And let's. I guess. I wonder if we can afford. Wow, look at this creep spread. <laughs> hey, stop that. That's some pretty awesome creep spread you got over there, buddy. So, in Legacy, Creep recedes like two times faster if I'm not mistaken. What the heck is this? It's over here too? What the? up. Not a bunker. Okay. That should have been killed, so that should be fine. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, shit. I guess we couldn't do that. Man, where's the combat shields when you need them? Oops. There they are. Okay, so... Everything didn't go according to plan. Oh, sh Jesus. I think I just lost. Yeah, he has too many bases now. Wasn't able to defend my fourth base enough. That was interesting. I think he was doing like the no queen thing. I don't think I saw a single queen. That was cool. Watch replay. He made queens. Look at that. Yeah, he didn't make a queen. He just got like a super early third. 
That's so weird. He was able to defend really well too. Neat. Okay, there's this really this early third. There's my early third. Units tab. 47 SCVs to the 70 of his though. That really stinks. Did I see that? Wait, 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 did I see that? Okay, so I did see his fourth. Then I started denying the creep. Plus two, plus two is on the way for me. Almost done. Um, I'm floating a lot of minerals right now. I do have a lot of production. Units tab. Army tab. He's like 20 supply up in army. He does see my fourth base being landed. Not really able to mm, do anything at this point. He already has a sport color in his main base and he's getting up his hive. Wow, that's a really fast hive. I guess it's because I've just been letting him do whatever he wants. I haven't been harassing him early on. Mm. So... He was just able to do whatever. And let's see. His macro is like really good on point too. It's probably because of the extra hatcheries that he made. Yeah, look at this. He has like six hatcheries. A couple of spine crawlers. I think if I place my a drop like right here, then these spine crawlers won't be in range. And then this is just unfortunate. How many kills does this planetary get before it dies? I think it's five. Oh, seven? Okay. And in terms of army, it's still 20 supply down. I have plus two, plus two against this. It's just I don't think it's, it's not nearly enough. <laughs> because of, um... No combat shields. I should have gotten my combat shields a little bit earlier. Let's see how delayed that was. I think that was really important. Uh, does he have Ravagers yet? Where's his army? No, he doesn't. He'll morph him. A bit. Okay, so... Getting our stem pack. Finishes at... 720, roughly. Doesn't start up till... Still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I remember when I start looking at it. Okay. Um, so it starts at 8.20, a full minute after the fact. And it takes like a minute to finish, doesn't it? Oh god, I can't, I can't tell again. Googling it. Stim pack or combat shield research time. Google. It takes a min. Oh, two minutes. Okay, so I wouldn't have been ready for this attack. Let's see. Gosh darn it, I can't tell. Ugh, I can't scroll over any of the. things. The attacks and stuff, so it's like. it's not nearly as helpful. We'll go to the unit combat, or the unit test real quick. Actually, we could just Google this too, huh? Ravager. Ravager's deal... how much damage? Ground attack does 16 damage. Uh, Marine has 15... or 55 